Hello students In our previous video we learnt about the reactions of acid with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates Today let us explore how acids and bases react with each other Let us perform an activity to see the reaction between acids and bases and the products formed after the reaction Here our aim is to study the reaction between acids and bases For this we require some materials like a test tube a stand phenolphthalein indicator dilute hydrochloric acid and dilute sodium hydroxide now we take about 2 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide solution in a test tube and add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator and observe the solution what do we observe yes you are right we observe that the solution turns pink in color now let us add dilute hydrochloric acid solution to the test tube drop by drop what do we observe now right we observe that the pink color of solution disappears and the solution becomes colorless at a certain point students have you ever thought about why the color of phenolphthalein changes after the addition of an acid well students when we add phenolphthalein to the base its color turns pink by the effect of base when we add an acid that is dilute hydrochloric acid to it then at a certain point the solution becomes colorless this is because the acid neutralizes the effect of base the point at which acid and base neutralize each other is known as equivalence point of the reaction in other words the equivalence point of a reaction is the point when both the acid and base in the reaction have been completely neutralized and neither of them is in excess in general we can say that acid and base neutralize each other completely because of this property the reactions between acids and bases are known as neutralization reaction the chemical equation of reaction between acid and base in our activity can be written as sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride plus water some other examples of neutralization reactions are in all the neutralization reactions we see that acid and base after reaction forms salt and water so we can write the neutralization reaction as base plus acid gives salt plus water students you may still be wondering why we added phenolphthalein to sodium hydroxide in the beginning students now you know that equivalence point tells us that acid and base have neutralized each other after their reaction we added phenolphthalein to know that reaction has reached equivalence point students recall that neutralization reactions are ionic reactions where double displacement of ions take place for example when hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide hydrogen chloride produces hydrogen ion and chloride ions while sodium hydroxide produces sodium ion and hydroxide ion hydrogen ion is replaced by sodium ion and hydroxide ion is replaced with chloride ion we can view the neutralization reaction as follows acid plus base gives salt plus water do you know students these neutralization reactions are very important in our practical chemistry they are used for acid base titrations we use the acid base titration to determine the unknown concentration of acid or base in these reactions unknown concentration of acid or base is neutralized with an acid or base of a known concentration students before beginning the titration we choose a suitable ph indicator preferably one that will experience a color change at the equivalence point for example for strong acid strong base titration we use phenolphthalein indicator and for weak acid and weak base titration bromomethyl blue indicator can be used so we have seen that when acid and base react with each other they cancel out each other's effect 
that is they neutralize each other and form salt and water as products these reactions are called as neutralization reaction these reactions are used for titrations in our next video we will see another type of acid base reactions